The Clarks are good at doing things to protect themselves. But when Ken Clark receives an unexpected call from someone saying there was a problem with his social security account, he becomes very concerned. The caller says that Ken must pay $200 for a rush processing fee to correct his amount. If he doesn't pay, he may not get his check next month. Ken can't risk having his check delayed. He tries to pay by credit card, and the caller makes up a reason why he can't accept his credit card. But he can accept gift cards. So Katie heads to the store, where a concerned cashier observes that Katie is buying a lot of gift cards. Do you mind me asking why so many gift cards? The cashier asks. Katie would rather not say. Not to pry, but you do know the person you're sending these cards to, right? The cashier persists. Katie brushes off the cashier's concerns and insists on buying the cards. Back at home, the Clarks relay their gift card information to the scammer. They are told their account is back to normal. Just to be sure, Ken calls the Social Security Administration to make sure everything is in order. They have no idea what he's talking about. Then, it clicks. The reason the scammer wouldn't accept Ken's credit card payment is because Ken could have challenged that charge. But with gift cards, it's different. Scammers have three preferred methods of payment. Cash, wire transfer, and gift cards. Once a gift card is loaded, they take all the value off of it, leaving the buyer with nothing. Always beware when being asked to pay by gift card. It is likely a scam, and you will not get your money back. If you believe you've been the victim of a scam, contact Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost's office by visiting ohioprotects.org.